kids i hope you all are enjoying learning at home isn't it yes kids in the previous session we have learned subtraction and different facts of subtraction so now are you all ready for session 2 yes so let's begin with it hello students welcome back to our new session of chapter 3 that is subtraction let's take a quick overview of today's session in this session we are going to discuss about different ways to subtract vertical subtraction horizontal subtraction subtraction using number line subtract by counting backward so let's start kids before we start with our first heading let's see few examples of subtraction to understand cross out to subtract take away five balls from six balls 1 2 3 4 5 6 yes here there are total six balls yes and we have to take away five balls yes so let's write first 6 minus 5 is equal to yes kids so we have to take away five balls for that we are going to cross here yes so let's cross out 1 2 3 4 and 5 yes now kids how many balls are remaining let's count it 1 very nice yes so our answer is 1 1 one ball left let's take another example take away one flower from four flowers 1 2 3 4 total four flowers and we have to take away one flower so let's write it first 4 minus 1 is equal to yes total four flowers and we have to take away one flower so let's cross it one flower one yes so how many are remaining let's count it 1 2 3 very nice so our answer is 3 Three flowers left. Let's proceed further. Vertical subtraction. Five minus three. Yes, kids. Here we have to subtract three from five. First, that is five. Yes. So let's count it. One, two, three, four, five. And we have to subtract three stars from these five. Yes. So let's cross out one, two, and three. Now, how many are remaining? Let's count it: one and two. Yes. So, kids, our answer is two. Next, that is four minus one. So let's count it: one, two, three, four. And we have to subtract one. Yes. So let's cross it one. Now, how many are remaining? One. Two and three, very nice. So our answer is three. Yes, it is so easy to understand, isn't it? Yes. Now let's see the another one. Six minus five. So let's see it. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Kids, you have to subtract five stars from these six stars. Yes. and this is your homework next one that is 8 minus 4 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and, and you have to subtract four stars from this yes so you have to try at home now let's proceed further horizontal subtraction 6 minus 3 So let's count: one, two, three, four, five, six, and we have to subtract three from these. So let's cross out one, two, three. So now, kids, how many are remaining? Yes, let's count it: 
one two three yes so our answer is three very nice now let's see the another one nine minus four so one two three four five six seven eight nine very nice now we have to subtract four from these yes so let's cross it one two three four now how many are remaining so let's count it one two three four and five yes kids so what is our answer very nice five is our answer now next one that is five minus one so one two three four and five so total how many balls five balls and we have to subtract one from five what you have to do yes yes tell me yes kids you have to try this sum at home so this is your homework now let's move forward our next heading is subtraction using number line let's subtract 4 from 8 on a number line 8 minus 4 start from 8 yes kids here you have to start from 8 yes so point finger on 8 is very nice now we have to subtract 4 from this yes so what we are going to do go back four places so let's start one two three and four yes so which is our last number that is four so you reached at four so point out over there yes so thus eight minus four is equal to so which is your last number that is four very nice so your answer is four very good now next one let's subtract 3 from 9 on a number line 9 minus 3 student here's a number line and 9 minus 3 yes this sum you have to try at home yes i know you all can do it so try it let's proceed further and our next heading that is subtract by counting backward. Let's subtract 5 from 12. 12 minus 5 is equal to yes. Count backward 5 from 12. This is an image of a hand. Yes. Kids, can you see the fingers? Yes. So we have to start with the bigger number and stretch out 5 fingers as you count backward five numbers stretching out one finger at a time yes so here you have to count backward five from 12 so which is our greater number that is 12 so let's start which number comes before 12 that is 11 before 11 10 before 10 it's 9 before 9 it's 8 and before 8 it's 7 yes we have to count backward five numbers yes that's why we have taken our five fingers very nice so which is our last number that is seven yes so the number that you have reached at after counting five backward is the answer yes so let's write here that is 12 because 12 is the bigger number before number of 12 is 11 then 10, then 9, then 8, then 7. Which is our last number? That is 7. Yes. So this is our answer. Very easy. Isn't it? Yes. Thus, 12 minus 5 is equal to, yes kids, what is our answer? Very nice. That is 7. Now kids, let's take few examples more count backward and subtract 10 minus 7 count backward 7 from 10 
so kids which number is greater over here yes that is 10 so 10 is written we have to count backwards seven steps yes let's go ahead now 10 so which number comes before 10 that is 9 before 9 it's 8 then 7 6 5 4 and 3 yes so our last number that is 3 so this is our answer very nice thus 10 minus 7 is equal to which is our last number 3 yes so 3 is our answer very nice now kids 9 minus 5 count backward 5 from 9 yes here 9 is written because 9 is the greater number. Now kids, you have to try this sum at home. Yes, I know you all can do it. Yes, great job. Till then, thank you and bye.